Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. Today we're going to do a printable in Canva, and I'm going to be making a free printable for an open house sheet for realtors. That's one of my target audiences, and I want to make just a few little uh, different printables that they can choose from for their uh, open house when they hold houses open. So we're just going to get started really fast. So when you come to Canva, it's going to look like this. It's going to say create a design. You may get in here and it might look like this. What do you want to design? But functionally, that way you can, it's nice. You can do a search. But what I want to do is I want to take a peek here. These are ones I already kind of have been messing around with. Um, and then those are my pictures. So what do I want to make? And I've done just a teeny bit of research. And it looks like the best templates that I could use are going to be, and you can just don't stress. So this is the one thing about Canva is you do not have to stress. You can swap out anything. So I don't want a poster. I don't want a flyer. I don't want social media. Let's see. I want more of like this size, right? I want a one page size. So I could do maybe resume. Let's browse all and see if we can see them all in one place. So print with Canva, poster, document, flyer. That is, oh, here we go. This is me. Okay, so here we go. Daily report. I have found that daily report could be good for me or invoice, but you don't have to pick once you get going. So we're going to start with a daily report. And then what happens over here is you have all different kinds. So... This will say free, so we're going to do this one, because so that could be fun. And the neat thing about this is we're going to do three of them, because I want to give three of them away. And uh, that, that could be really fun. So on here, what's happening here, you can see this is like a, a white box that is, is making the background. See how it's making it like that? So that's fun. I don't know if I love the colors but we could fix that. Okay, so we are gonna keep this one. Oh, it looks like I'm missing something here. Um, and now I'm gonna go to page two, and I'm gonna see, do I want this one? That's kind of pretty. Um, that's a very like factual one, right? That could be good, because we just need name, email, phone. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see what this one is. Ooh, that's pretty, but that would cost a lot to print out. But let's have one that's like not realistic because that's super unrealistic. But I want something pretty. I might have to fix that first one. I don't know. I love it. And we're going to be on page three. Let's do, um, what's this one? Oh, that's pretty too. Okay, so we could do this one for sure, because that's kind of snazzy. This is very fancy. We could make that nice. Actually, what about this one? How about if we do this one, which is still kind of that same. Well, I need lines, sorry. Oh, I like that. I like this one a lot. Okay. And so for this one, let's go back to templates. We're gonna cluck out of daily reports. Because there was another thing, a monthly status report. So let's do all. And this looked like they could have some. What's this guy? So that would work, right? Um, basically, what I'm looking for is a little grid. So this may be absolutely perfect. All right. All right. Do any of them have pictures or anything? Project outline. Ooh. Okay. What do we got? We got pretty boring. We got kind of cool. We got snazzy. Okay, I'm going to add a page. I may do one more for them because look how cool that is. I just think that's beautiful. That's going to make a great one. And if we don't like one of them, we can just delete it. So we're going to start with this one because this one's my favorite. So what you're going to do is you're going to... Like, see, I need a little bit more room because this is more functiony than it is, um, you know, cute. And what we need to remember now is only a tiny bit of those colors are going to be um, showing up. But what I want to do 
is I want to make this a kind of a neutral color. So let's see, neutral color. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. It's the color colors I use in my business. So of course I like that one. Okay. Um, and so then, oh, we could do this because we want to remind them to put in the date and the address, right? Because we want them to know what that is. And then I'm going to do this. Underline, 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 slash, nope slash, underline, 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 slash, okay, and now see that's a little too high for them to be able to fill in the date, so now we click off somewhere else, maybe I have to do this, I think I would like this better, oh, there we go, okay, so date, and then I can just delete this, and then address, and then I'm just going to make underlines. And then I need this box to be a lot bigger. Okay. Okay. And then I want something cute. I want like I need a text box and I need it to say but look how fun the thing that I love about Canva is it lets you do things without having to be an expert on stuff so now we're going to go back to our colors we're going to make this I might have it be dark enough let's do teal I happen to love teal I'm in a I'm sorry everything I make will be teal I'm in a teal place and then let's make this teal and then we need to nudge it over a little bit because it kind of looked a little funky. There we go. Okay. And then we need, we don't need this. And we don't need this. We need sign-in areas. Okay. So this is going to be perfect. But first I want to do something fun. And I want to say, I want to bring this over. Oh, there we go. I'm very impatient. Now I have 5,000 of them, right? So, but that's okay because then it shows you how to how to fix when you're impatient. You functionally want to get in there because now I'm just deleting things. But let's click. There we go. Okay, so we want to say open house. Okay. I don't love how far apart these are. And I bet you part of that is a function of this. This will be better. And you just got to try to work with what you got. Oh, there we go. Is that going to take away that? Nope. So now we want to do undo up here. Don't do command Z to undo. Um, click up here. Then you can delete those. So we want to do open house and it's, it's fun cause it can be a little artsy fartsy and you don't have to know how to be artsy fartsy. So now we need to be able to drag it. There we go. Open house. All right. This might not work. All right. And then now we'll make this a different font. Oh, it's going to make the whole thing that font. So that's why there were the little separate boxes. That's okay. What we'll do is this. And then we will make this smaller. Welcome. Okay. There we go. That's great. Okay, now I also want it to, to be kind of color coordinated. So now I want it to be this kind of dark blue color. Yay, okay. I can totally live with that. I think that's pretty kind of cute. It's a little wiggly. You got to do some stuff to 
wiggle it around. Wiggle it just a little bit. Okay, and then you can just, like, so I have it where I want it. I'm not going to try to move it anymore. And you can also use your arrow up, arrow down key. And you're just going to, oh, that looks great. That's kind of exactly what I want to do. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away these ones, and then I'm going to have them pay if they want a different one. All right, so now we want name. And we want phone. And we want email. I know you were thinking, God, this is going to take forever. But once you kind of get going, let's see. All right, yep, I want that to move over. Then I got to get the name part, right? I got to get that tiny part. And you're going to try to kind of get, so I could do this. And then do that. There we go. Name. But I still need it to move over more. And you'll notice I click way, 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 way outside of the box. And then I click way, 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 way inside of the box. And that helps you to um, to kind of unreset the thing. Now, I, want it, I don't want it to get bigger. I want it to get wider. How can I make it? Oh, I can actually just do this. So that's good. Oh, something's going on down there. Did you see this little thing right here? You want to delete that. All right, name. And now we have to move this over. And I'm going to put it equal with this line. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this. Because I just want three of these. Command copy, command paste, command paste. So now I have three of them. There we go. It kind of, see those little arrows coming up? It kind of lines itself up automatically, which is awesome because then you don't have to be good at lining things up which I may be a graphic designer, but I am not good at lining things up. Okay, and now we need to move this guy, click outside. Nope, we get, yep, there we go. And we want to line up that box. And then we just want to get, all of them are kind of in the middle. I kind of oriented them to the middle. You could orient them like over there. And just this one isn't going to do much, but kind of orient them a little bit so they're left justified. And you could totally have a cool, I kind of want to move this, just trying to get the edge of this. There we go. That's better. See how it kind of lines up with the top of that? Open house. And then, let's see. Yes, we could. I almost feel like I want to leave them room for notes or, and I always do that. I ha I really like that. Or we could make lines down there. So elements. So lines. Oops, there's lines. Oh, there we go. Ah, fancy. So we could add more lines, right? If we wanted to, we could just come in here and continue this down. Okay. Um, I believe if you upgrade, you get way more options with this. 
as far as what you can change like you would probably be able to change some line height but that would work so we could do this just keep nudging them in we could also do let's see what do we have we could put a picture in right um, we could put these guys in. So here you can put in a, well, we want to move it so we don't lose it. You never want to size something down that you can't still see, right? Okay, so there's this. And then you can make this line over here. You could write something in here. And we could do command copy, command paste. Do another line. All right, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to use my illustrator to do this when I do it but this is this is as good as I could do in mine and oh because this looks more like a house doy okay so this looks like almost like a cute little house right so you want to get it in there you want to get this in here and the agent could actually use those lines down there as a real estate agent there's a lot of times when you do want to make a little note about something and then you could say, okay, let's make this teal. Oh, perfect. Okay, so that's great. There's nothing wrong with that for an open house sign-in sheet for a free one. All right, now let's do this one because I want to do something. So you're going to say open house. Please sign in. Okay. Exclamation. And we're going to get rid of this. Do I need that box? Uh, we, don't, we don't need this because I'm doing just a generic one um, for that they can just print out. Like maybe a new agent, like a regular agent would have this, but a new agent might need this. I'm just going to delete this because if we need to add a text box, we can. And now, to me, this feels like this is going to be a lot easier to do than the other one because we don't have those weird lines, right? And so this is going to be, oh, dude, this is going to be much easier. But how do I make that skinnier? It just keeps getting smaller. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how wide I want it, right? Name. Phone isn't that long. And then I want email. And email can be a little bit longer. Okay. So now I'm just going to make my own boxes because otherwise this is kind of a pain in the rear. And I want to click over here on the shapes and do all. And I'm going to do just a color shape. And see, when you add your own color shape, you get all four sides of the box, which is why we did it this way. So now we have this way, we have this way, and then we have the top and bottom box. Okay, perfect. So we're going to do copy paste. I should probably make them the right color, but we can do that in a second. Okay, copy paste. And see how they're lining themselves up? This is perfect. Okay. So now we're going to delete these guys. Do, 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 do. And let's make this one a different color. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do kind of a fresh color. And we're going to do this. Now we, we're losing this little task thing because it's not in front. And so if we wanted to move it, we could say bring it to the front. Forward, backward. Okay. But you know what we're going to do. I can, I can hear you see it coming. I'm just deleting that. Okay, so let's do this and get a cute color. 
I really like that kind of light teal to go with it. I'm fine with that. Uh, these guys don't have the right kind of bounding boxes. You know how they, they only have up and down, not side to side. So we're going to delete all these. And you might think, then why did you use a template to even start with? Well, I didn't have this design idea 30 seconds ago, right? Um, and I didn't want to have to think of something myself. And I want to do this in like, I might keep, uh, nah, we won't keep anything. I like the top and the bottom. That's about it. Okay. And so then we're going to, you can hit shift and pick them all and move them all up at once. Okay. And then we're going to, this is a design trick. You don't have to do this, but if you get all three of them and you click alt, you can make a copy without having to, um, without having to copy and paste. But here we go. Do, 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 do. Right. So there you go. Now this is a lot of that teal color. So we're going to come over here and we're going to make it this nice, that was a lot. Okay, so now I don't like this font. I want a different. I need something a little bolder. Ah, there we go. And now I want that pretty color. And that's not very cute. This is more, I feel like this is more of a lady font. Or this is a lady sign in. So I want it to be cuter. Too fluffy. We're at work. We're not doing... We have so many fonts. We'll find something. Uh, no. Too twee. Not good. I want something less formal. So when you're doing design, you want to look at where it says open house is kind of really formal and then the please sign in i want something a little bit more um playful but not like childish maybe they didn't hear the not childish part the other part of the problem is that i don't like like i like clean design. There we go. There it is. Okay, so that looks a little bit different. Nice. Okay, but now we need, so we need to know what this is. This is kite one. Okay, and we're going to say text. Add a text box. We know we need kite one because that's the one we're using. Name. We gotta come over here. We gotta try to find it. Try to grab it. Nope. There we go. Doop. Name. And then we're gonna click Alt and slide. And Alt and slide. All right. We'll put these in the middle. So this is gonna be email. And this is gonna be phone. And it's gonna be email. Okay. And now I want this to be white. Right? That would look better. There we go. So now we have two. Oh, see, for a free printable, I feel really comfortable giving this away as a free printable. I also feel free to make a fancy one and sell it, but I'm good with that. Okay, so this is fun. Because again, we can do please sign, not sing in, sign in, exclamation, open house. And I like these. I almost like this. We're going to do something different. You're going to like this. Do, do, do. You're going to like this. This is a designery thing. Do, 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 nope, doop. And we're going to make the design cool so we can make the fonts boring. Ah, 
And the, so, so don't worry. The, the more you do this, the easier it gets as, you know, with anything in life, right? Okay. So what I like is this thing. I like this kind of little thing, but I do want it to be longer. So we're going to do this. We're going to do elements. I like, okay, so I have a design. We're going to come all the way over to this edge because I want more room for them to write. This is going to be real designery. Now we have our little side diggies, right? Okay, and so this is going to go away. You're going to love this. What's this font? This is League Spartan. So we're going to make this League Spartan. Perfect. And so now we're very matchy-matchy. You don't want too many fonts in your in your thing. So we're going to say name, clicking alt, phone, right, right. You with me now? You got it? I know. So fun. And you're going to be surprised because we're going to make this a girly one. I'll work with me here. I'm just trying to get, oh, here we go. Alt, email. Okay. And now this, we're just going to keep making these. And I can click to, this is a trick, right? Select both of them. Alt, pull it down. Right? You with me here? Graphic designers are super lazy people. We know all the little tricks to make things go fast. I need an align. Do we have an align? group. What about position? Oh, there we go. So this isn't a line. We want them to the line left. Oh, that's aligning to the whole page. I need them to align to each other. But maybe they don't do that. That's fine. We can figure it out. Oh, I didn't want to make a whole new set of them. Okay, so let's do this one. Just one. Are they a group now? Ungroup. See, they grouped. Group is super nice to have sometimes, but I need to ungroup them. All right, now I gotta move these guys over. Oh, see, now they're giving, up, giving me the lineup boxes. There we go. That's probably why they don't have a line, because you've got the lineup things. Now be careful, because it was trying to line me up with something else. Okay. All right, so it looks to me like, now if you were doing this for something professional that you're going to sell, you would obviously take a lot more time than I am to get this done. But, okay, so now we're going to come up here, and I want this to be a prettier color. Um, I know teal, I shouldn't make everything teal, but what about that color? No, I don't like that. What about pink? All right. Now, the thing about this is, and I do this a lot with my um, with my printables I actually do, if they print this out in pink and it's on a black and white printer, it's actually going to be um, gray, which still looks nice, right? So you just want a color that's not very dark because then it'll print out looking a little bit black. Okay, that's not that, that's, that's the deal I just keep picking, right? Okay, so, well, that's kind of sunny. Okay, so we'll do that, but then we have to change this to, um, there's not enough contrast. They won't be able to see it, right? It won't, it won't print well. So we have to do it as a, and I did dark gray, and then you could do black. You could do little tonal things. But this is very nice. Uh oh, now we want consistency. I don't have a semi. I don't have a colon after here, and I do think that we need to move this. Like seriously, people's email address sometimes are super long, and that's something I could feel very comfortable giving away. And then let's just do this one last one. My concern with this is, oh, it's got all the boxes. Oh, so it's worth it. Seriously, it's worth it to try a bunch of different ones of these so you can see if they happen to have 
um, one that already sort of works for you because we're going to change this to date right and we need to see what size this is so this is 20.7 so we want this to be 21 close enough for government work it's so funny you hear my uh i say that so much that my 12 year old son says it all the time he's like mom it's close enough for government work and I want to get this a little further out because I feel like they were wasting a lot of room on the, uh, with the margins. Like, that's a huge margin. Okay, and I don't need the world. All right. I want something cute to put there. Oh, I could put a heart, right? Those, those shapes are kind of cool. Here's some other shapes. These are all free. Oh, that's kind of fun. It's a pencil. All right, what do we got? Let's keep going. They got cool things. Oh, you know what you could do? We're gonna make this blue. They don't really have a good blue. Okay, so we're gonna make this fun. This is gonna be a marketing thing. Add a text box. Let's see. It's just like there's nowhere for them to follow them, right? But I want to give them the um, idea. A lot of times during open houses, it's more about, you know, getting the chance to talk to somebody and getting that opportunity to do it. Um, okay, I don't think I need this one. Okay, and I don't really need these top boxes, so I'm going to delete them. All right, now we got these guys, right? We're going to move them all up here. And I'm fine today on this one because I'm moving everything together. So now I need this line to be over here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so now we have name, email, let's do the phone. And then we're going to say buying, selling. Okay. And that what that means for realtors is, are you buying a home? Are you selling a home? And then some people will say both, which is brilliant. Okay. All of these guys we've got to bring down here. And you know what? We're not going to worry too much about getting these lined up because we're going to have a little secret. Remember Lazy Designer? We're going to have a secret Lazy Designer trick. Okay. Because these lines, I guarantee you, are not going to fit in perfectly. See, if I do one more, right, if I do one more of these lines, there we go, okay, so I need to drag us down one more, and that's fine, but, nope, I need these guys. All right, we can pull this guy out of the way for a wee second. So I can grab these guys. I'm going to say copy, paste. I'm going to say undo, and I'm going to say paste again. I'm so glad it didn't work because you don't want to keep trying to move stuff around. You just go 
with paste with the easiest thing and sometimes you can spend hours trying to get something to line up and you didn't need to just delete it start over again all right there we go they're all lined up and now we just need to drag this guy back over here and get him sort of lined up we just need actually the side edge to look nice right because that part is is going into the top now you may be thinking to yourself you have a gap here these aren't all straight this one we probably do need to move down a tiny bit because i think it's sticking over the top okay but you're like those aren't straight and all you ocd people are having a nervous breakdown it's okay i want to go all the way to the top i just need a square there's a square boop 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 lazy designers remember lazy designers we make the world go round. Uh-oh. Oh, darn it. I did it. I made it off the edge. Now there's going to be some weird random thing off the edge. It's fine. All right. So down here. All right. That looks pretty pretty good I think they only let you have so tiny a box um so I would probably do this right like on all of these they had big giant open box areas um I don't hate this like this isn't terrible I might you know make sure these are because you could tell it was just a teeny bit off um, I would now honestly go and start printing stuff out. And seeing how it looks. Um, if all the lines are lined up and stuff like that. Having done design for a long time. So, we need to print it. We're going to say, so print documents A4 means... I just download them. That's confusing. Um, and I want to download it as a PDF. So you could do, if you're going to email it to people, you want to do PDF standard. If you were going to be printing this and wanting really high quality, you would do the other ones. But I just want PDF standard, all pages, download. And this print now means that they'll print it for you, but I don't need that. Open. There we go. And you would print it out. So that's how you make a Canva thing. Let's talk about what I would actually do is I would go in and I would make a whole nother page to include in my PDFs. And the first page would be like a little welcome, happy, thank you. So glad you downloaded it. Here's my site branding. Here's my URL. Um, you know, here's get 100 free marketing ideas, like all kinds of stuff they could do because I want them, I want to drive them, I want to make them happy, and then I want to drive them from where they were back to my website so that um, I get more traffic, I get more opportunity to talk to them. I, I'm going to be giving these away for free, 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 um, no sign up, no nothing. Uh, but if you already got them on your email address, then you don't really have to try to give them something else away for free. But if you're giving away like a free, free printable and you want to get something out of it, then that's how you do it. That was not very fast. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobs said, marketing artfully.